Hey guys, back again with another painting tutorial for my Saga Viking Warband. If you haven't watched my other videos, the first colors you're going to start to get the model to where it's at is you're going to prime the model with a matte black or flat black, and then you're going to use a zenithal highlight. I used bold titanium white out of my airbrush, but you could definitely use it with uh, any type of white primer. Alright, um, this is the longest step for the warband if you're doing the block painting which is a lead belcher from Citadel. does look pretty good. I use a cheaper brush to put down the metallics just because I want my, my good brushes not to have a whole bunch of metallics used with them. And it goes pretty quick. So there he is, all blocked out with that lead belcher paint. Okay, now we're going to move to the Pro Curl Advanced Flesh Tone. If you're like me and you just want to get the colors on there and you don't stay quite in the lines, this is a great base coat color to go back in on all the trim and touch it up um, wherever you might have touched with that lead belcher. But this does really give the, the model a lot more characteristic if you can go back in and hit him with the trim pieces here. So We actually just got back from Adepticon with this army and I will have a follow-on video on how that went and an actual showcase um, at least some photos of what the army looked like with the display board and everything so it was a lot of fun all right we're coming to the end of the trim pieces there all right now we're going to go to more metallic we're going to use a uh, Milo recipe is tainted gold at their air uh, version from army painter and then retributor armor from Citadel makes a really nice gold almost brass tone these guys don't have a lot of gold features on them, but this is a really good way to, again, make the model pop and have those little characteristics in each of the models. So, Okay, now we're going to go to Army Painter, the hardened leather, one of my favorite colors from Army Painter. Nice, rich red leather look. You're going to touch all the leather bits that you didn't get with the base uh, color. Again, just to have some variation in leather color. His belt, the sheath of the, of the sword he's carrying, any pouches, and then also his, uh, his shoes. Some of the models, these are from Victrix. Some of them will have a higher boot, so you could go higher with that leather if you wanted to. But he's got, he's got some wraps around his legs, so I'm going to touch that with another color. All right, now we're gonna use Army Painter Dark Wood for his um, for the axe he's carrying, the, the actual handle of the axe. I will sometimes change this up with the hardened leather, actually, just to, again to have some different tones of wood in the army, and I think that really m makes it look just so much better on the table when you have just so much variation between model and model. All right, next, uh, the Army Painter Pallid Bone, and just like what I talked about, we're gonna take this on the legs here uh, for the leg wraps, just to give another color of leather, right? Um, good, have some good variation. Now we're gonna move to Holy White, still working on his legs here. We're gonna touch the little bits of his pants. This will dry uh, almost like a gray. After you do the model, definitely can go in and do uh, some highlights wherever you'd like to do it. But another great paint paint uh, from Army Painter is the Zealot Yellow. It has a super rich yellow, almost an orange feel to it. I apologize, I painted some of this off camera. I wasn't really paying attention, but hitting his tunic here. And it looks just great. It's a super rich color. I think it just makes these Hearthguard models just really pop. As you can see right there, it's great. All right, now we go to the Tan Flesh. We're gonna use that as a base color for any of the skin tone we're using. Um, most of these guys are he fairly heavily armored, so you don't see their faces. But if there, his face was showing, you would obviously go in there and um, touch it up with this base tan from Pro Curl. Alright, now we're on to the stage of washing the model, so we're going to hit all the metallic bits at this point. 
I'm using Pro Curl Black Wash, but you could definitely use the, your Citadel Null Oil, uh, or you can make your own, you know, oil washes, that type of thing. So this goes pretty quick, and it makes it just look, just really pulls the whole model in together. If you're not using washes, you definitely st should start looking into using washes. There he is, all washed up. Now we're going to go with the Crusader skin from Army Painter and we're going to use this similar to a wash on all the skin tone. Again, if you think it's too dark, then you can go back in and you can highlight with the original color with that Pro Curl Tan Flush and sort of get those highlighted areas if you're edge highlighting. So I do that off camera, so the, the end model might have a few more highlights in it than what you see here, but this is a great tabletop standard. All right, now we're to the actual base model at this point. As you can see, he's has some highlights on him. I uh, painted the outside of the brim, of the rim, and look, he's looking really good on his base. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you tuning in. I'll keep the videos coming. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks again.